And now we're going to try to contact my good friend, Vincenzo, por favor. Whoop. All right, one more time, Vinny. Here we go, because I'm going to probably have to say hello to all the RLMers that didn't find something else to do. <sighs> say hello, Vincenzo. Hello. Say, can you hear me now like they're doing those stupid com- commercials on TV? Can you hear me now? All right, so I'm trying to get my thing back in place. There it is. Woo-hoo. Yeah, it was this my is, fault. Uh, it, 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 something I knew with Mary, and I forgot to do it this week. <laughs> and anyway, well, eh, it made the show more fun. Anyway, so sit back. Yeah, and, now sit back and let me say hi to the, the crowd at the RLM, because they're the ones that put up with this shit. <laughs> Hello. Okay, now we've got number one sitting at the very top of the thing here, Barman. Barman, can you believe that we have Barman? Anyway, Cowboy Tech is here, and then we've got Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Asmo, Beth Z, Charles Sedoni, Chloe Singular, Graham Z's logged on, but she's not not around. She hasn't spoken to me today, so she's probably not even here, or she's ditching me like a school kid. And I be done. C. We've got Java Doctor Two. Jays, Nines, Jays, Wanna Taco, Rain, RLM Fluke, Hank's favorite, Rob Works, hey Rob, Roams, hey, and then number one's changing his name back to the original one, now he's Roams again, the world is crazy, Anti, hey, Hello Honey, Kovax 101, Me, uh, Frumpy, Frumpy 3, I be Don C Work, <laughs> Kozu, and Moi. yeah, that peace guy, Moi. pox box, poxified, poxophone, poxahome, pawn sauce, sock puppet, skittle, Vin- Vinny Baroque, <laughs> and it's the f- uh, uh, I'm here, and the phantom, the phantom is here too. Oh, hide, hide, hide the phantom. Anyway, now see. You. All that, all that mess we just went through was just me forgetting to do something I should have done. So sorry, it was shut my up. fault. Yeah, nah, I don't want to shut up, Vinny. Don't make me shut up. We're doing radio. You're, you're so, broke. Yeah, no. So what's up today? So well, we we've got me, Vinny Baroque, yeah. and you, yeah, Flash Hands. Ah, Flash yeah. Hands. Ooh. Well. Does that remind? Does that remind you and take you back to the days on the old River Rhine? No, I've never been in to some the, Fraulein. I've never been to the River Rhine with a Fraulein. I've never actually. Fraulein. Said, I've never. I'm like forty kilometers or something from from Germany, and I've still no interest in going there. Oh, might you ought to go. Further. Just, just like a. What? Yeah, you should go like for a pilgrimage, a, a homage. I, I don't sure hiked for Hans. Oh. Your hunts, yes. <laughs> and what, what would it prove? It now, would Cirque, prove Cirque went now, deep devotion. Wait a minute, Cirque went to Munich for a business thing about three months ago, right? And right, I it, she was not pleased with Munich. So no, why would I want to go somewhere if Cirque didn't like it? Why would I like it? Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. by the way, I got a. A quick phone call coming in here in just a few minutes, Uh-oh. so I'll have to drop out. From, I'll have to just drop out for yeah. just a couple of I'll, couple of minutes. Yeah, so I'll find a I'll, I'll find back. a link to read. Like last time, and my, you can. Uh, hey, Grim, you can flash your hands together, right? While I'm gone, I can two probably, hands flashing. Could probably slap you from here. Um, Listen, this but, is the sound of one hand sla- uh, slapping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grim, would you um, post a link of something fun to read? Well, uh, Vincenzo gets his phone call, and, and that'll give me something to do instead of jibber-jabbering about absolutely nothing. But absolutely nothing. Absolutely we could write a song fucking, about that. We already did. Are you kidding, could? We did. Hmm? It's called uh, Absolutely yeah. Nothing by Flash in the Pans. Flash wow. in the Pans. Yeah. No, nah, I was reading Grimner's. I like it. Grimner's being funny. 
Flash and hey, are you What's Peter Grimace? Pan or are you Vinny Pan? Uh, Vinny Pan. Uh oh. Oh, the Vinny Pan man yeah. can. Well, you'll the get Vinnie the Pan. you'll get the short young girls with that name. <laughs> <laughs> the tall, smart oh, ones okay. are going to avoid you really, really, really. Uh, well. So what, what do, do you, you do? what do you prefer, the, the tall, smart one or the short, stupid one? Um, right in the middle. Oh, what is that? There's, there's no, I don't know. There's like no way to answer that question, is there? I don't think there's any way to answer any question. I think that we make too much of all this. Oh, crap. wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Lo- Logan crashed the door. <laughs> oh no, poor kid! Wow, that was fun. <laughs> and then you that's, laugh that's at the mis- you laugh at the Hello. misfortune of a child. Oh. <laughs> I hope I hope he pops you in the nose. Ah, oh, wait. <laughs> Welcome no, to the train wreck. <laughs> episode of the dork table Benny we're Baroque in, we're in double train wreck mode at this time hey, leave it open Daniel could have been worse it's like Mary and her um, shooting yeah. ducks while we're talking what oh okay when well, uh yeah. when, when Amber calls off I'll say Daniel Hello. Oy. We have communicated. Oh yeah. We have communicated ourselves into a a pocket. Uh, no pocket. Yeah. Well, maybe not. So, what's on your mind besides uh, playing with kids and whatever else you're not doing? Yeah, that that's it exactly. Uh, on your mind, the uh, yeah. the thought process. Yeah. How does yours work? Well, are uh, you are you are you subjective or are you objective? Or do you even know what the two what the two mean? <laughs> I, I, I'm being distracted by that that bass in the background. Oh, okay. Well, that was Wait, the dog barking. Going... I think my dog's barking her mind out. She's all excited. The women are having dinner out in the backyard. Good. So yeah. Um, do you have a subjective or an objective way of blah blah blah? Both. Aha. Yeah. Oh, I'm so pretty objective. You're versatile. Yeah. I, I look, yeah, I I like to circle around it, you know, and, mm. and take a look at uh from all sides, and not just uh you know flat dimensional side because it's three dimensional, everything inside and out, right? And that uh, that's pretty close to the name of that new Pixar movie. I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. Uh, you know, I animated the the computer nation nation sort of thing movie. You know, what I'm talking about Pixar. Pixar, I don't know. Yeah, it's like kids, kids movies. But anyways, Inside Out or something like that's the name of it, and it's like inside the brain. It's really cool. You got these, you know, your uh, emotions. I, I just saw part of it, so uh, I really don't get the whole thing yet. But anyways, yeah. it's pretty neat. There's probably a lot of stuff in there being said that would really uh, have some sort of meaning. But anyway, so there's like inside the brain. It's like this giant operational center, a huge land. And, and memories are stored and rotated, and uh, sometimes when they're forgotten, they're dropped off down deep into the the chasm and uh, never more remembered. Some things like uh, the imaginary friend he, he sacrificed his uh, self to get the one character, which I'm not sure what she is, uh, back up out of the top and over the to the uh, back into the realm where all this exists. Uh, so it's pretty neat how it uses the emotions and anger and sadness and happy and uh, all this and how it operates us, how we operate, uh, how our mental processes take place and how prejudice can uh, override. Mm. Uh, and what is and the what to, is uh, the what is the source of your information? My observations, my ponder gandering. Oh well, see that's always true. No matter what, even if you're wrong to me, if it's your own personal, you know, point of view, that you can't argue that. When you when you start well, quoting other people is when it gets stupid, you know, because when you quote other people, first off, you weren't there to hear them say it. 
99 percent of the time maybe one percent what if i was because i've been there to hear a lot of things hey sport you you are a a breed of your own with you you know it but you don't seem to flaunt it too awful much maybe the easily thing but you know hey hold up hold up that's for my protection now, if any, ever, <laughs> I, I, if ever I am sued for copyright, listen, you settle it up with everybody that's ever said my name easily. Yeah, and uh, it's a one cent, one percent of one penny yeah. for every time you use that. So, tough um, titty. yeah, wow. tough titty. <laughs> so yeah, settle it up. That's my account because oh, uh, so I believe in in sharing information. Yeah, so fair, do I. Fair. Here's a, here's Daniel's son. Well, you know, that's where I, I get kind of upset is people think they have intellectual property now because we have internet and paper and ink, and it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> Crap. We're we're living in the most deceitful time of history right now. Every day it gets worse than the day before. And, and that's a fact. Yeah, <clears throat> but there are people that suck it up like a biscuit and gravy. And they, they want, you know, that's what I'm dealing it. with right now. What? You know, that's what I'm working at. Right what now. I'm curious is, about, you know, this, this media, these guys that call themselves, uh, you know, the informers to the uh, it's, public. It's a game. And they're liars. Yeah, they're a big, yeah. fat liar. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've seen their bile, the excrement from the uh, belly of the beast. From hands Thank on, you, though. You went to, yeah, you saw it with your own eyes. I just do it from look around at the results. And there, how do you get to these results? Well, you tell people one thing and you do something different. There's no other way to fuck it up this bad. You, you, no, if we could. Even no, way no, no, no. Well, yeah, if we try. That's what I mean. This is done badly, disguised as done for the good of everybody bullshit. It's Listen, a, there's a, a zombie apocalypse coming. No, there's Believe not. Me no, say, there's yeah. not. Where? Where? To the whole wide world. Fuck. How do you figure that? Because I'm writing a book about it. But we, I've head. been listening to this promise for 47 years. Oh, he died. So now I'm going to go back up to and open up the link that Mr. Grimner sent me. Where is that? I should open it when he sent it. Uh, anyway, meaningless. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm opening it now because Mr. Vincent had to go make a phone call of matter of importance okay um we value your pro- ah crap um let's see if that doesn't close it all right an anonymous reader quotes the next web uh the word hack is meaningless and should be retired an anonymous reader quotes the next web the word hack used to mean something and hackers were known for their technical brilliance and creativity now literally anything is a hack Anything to the point where the term is meaningless and should be retired. Wow, that's a good, good point. Because, you know, people in their research and their fucking, uh, oh, my facts are proven. Yeah, your facts are proven by the bank that wanted to make a buck. When you learn that lesson at any level, then things will improve for you. You'll, you'll quit worrying about people building walls to protect you from aliens <laughs> anyway the most egregious abuse of the term hack comes from the bbc's Dougal show doug all Dougal Dougal shaw i don't know how to even pronounce that shit dougal shaw let's try that packaged sandwich oh wait i skipped the line in a recent video of his called my lunch hack <laughs> shaw demonstrates that it's cheaper to make your own sandwich each day than it is to buy a prepackaged sandwich from the supermarket. Wow, I guess he had to study for that test. Shaw calls that a hack. I call it common sense, as I just did. Boy, I'm doing what Mary does, and I'm judging the shit before I read it. This is too fucking much. All right, and that's not nearly the worst example. I haven't touched on life's hacks yet. This term is nebulous. It means nothing and anything. It's used to describe arts and crafts. That said, the worst dilution dilution of the term hack comes from growth hackers. Some of this is out of my slang. I'd need to get some points cleared up. Anyway, 
I regret to inform you that the word hack is now bad and should be avoided. Wow. What a thing to think about. I don't know. Maybe they can ban it. <laughs> Build a fucking wall. <laughs> and, and, you know, protect you all from the, the people that you fought to take the land away from that. See, they're not, they're not even trying to get the land back. They're just doing what... Um, what Israel does is just occupying it. And if you don't like it, go to the United Nations and complain. Sure, they got a complaint department there for you to go to and snivel all you like, but nothing's going to happen. I mean, shit. It's a banker's game. I think so, anyway. Let's see. Let's read the chat. Yeah, it was kind of brief, and I could continually expand on it, but my uh, internet skills are basically simple grim i don't really my interest is in way different things than internet so but the meaning of words you know it's like when i went on the rant about this guy figured out how the damn admiralty court manages to do what it does to us and if you understand how to rebuttal in their own language you beat them in court but it's a very expensive um road to go down Poor people can't do it because the game is rigged, so that is what we get. And then you get your voters that want more of this, not just what we have of it already, like there's not enough, but they want more, more enforcement and and more violence and more control over all of us. I don't, I don't know. I guess we're just like a bunch of little kids and we can't be trusted, so we need, you know, Mommy state there to to wipe our drippy little noses because they're running. Oh, my goodness. They got a runny nose. You know, or, uh, oh, the kid fell. It's what you do when you're learning how to do something physical is you, more or less, you know, you have an accident and fall or something. Oh, I forgot about the text. I just got all yakky for a minute. Thanks, Grimmer. Vincenzo's back. Uh, I'm not uh, back. I'm front. Uh, uh, that front. that too. hey, I don't know. I went on some drug induced rant about a word while you were gone, sir, to kill the time, until you returned to teach us not what we that. shut up. I'm not done. What we need to know about yeah, life. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, no Did shut I tell up. you to shut up already? Uh, yeah, it's my turn to say shut, shut up. Shut up, shut uh, up already. I'm the Jew hey, this week, so not you. Inside Out. So that's the brain center. So, hey. Oh, yeah, you were talking about Now, I was say saying. But yeah, hold on a minute. Yeah. Like, sh- shut up already. No. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> say something. Okay. Give me an audio tech. Hello. Say something. Say hello. 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 Talk more. Nine one one. What? What is your so, emergency? <laughs> all right. So I asked Daniel's son yeah. to uh, give us a little rundown. Now, inside out, it's uh, inside the brain. And what are these emotions or what running things carrying these emotions. memories? Huh? Emotions. Emotions. Sit up so we can hear you. Emotions. Emotions. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up, Daniel's son. Shut up. I'm gonna hit your slap I'm your tired. belly. Did so many dabs. We have flash it. Yes, yabba dabba do. How are you? All right, so tell me about this uh, movie, Daniel. Come here. Come here. I'm the movie? I don't see what oh, it's a movie right. you're talking about. I got it. Yeah, a Pixar He's movie. He's really quiet. All right, go and check. I don't hear him at all. Go check so. on Logan. All right. Uh oh, so. yeah. He, he seems. Can you imagine shy. if Vinny was quiet? We'd have to all panic. Right? You world traveling maniac. Uh oh. Did I lose the Vincent again? <laughs> ah, Are you there panicking? He is. <laughs> panic? Are you panicking? Hey, no, hello, I, everybody. Panic at reallibertymedia.com. No, it's just that uh, the radio thing, I just always feel more comfortable with somebody else than just being by myself about it. You're not going to touch me, are you? Maybe. I'm going to stick my I'm going to stick my finger through the fucking computer, man. Come on. What you have flash hands. I yeah, wish. Flash. Damn, I'd you be, can do that I'd on be, a flash drive. I would be world famous, and people would want to dissect me on a table if I had a okay. special skill such as that. What are your memories of what? So, 
they they lose <laughs> this uh, this girl. You know, it starts with her growing up mm. and uh, as a baby, and then growing up, and uh, I guess she's a hockey player. But anyways, and, and you know, you, you remember things like, and then sometimes they come back to you you hadn't thought about in a long time. So that what they do is they just like uh, reinsert these in memories and pop them up like little bitty bubble balls and uh, send them through the the tubes. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like at the bank. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a pretty pretty neat looking so, movie. But it's I done know. on purpose oh. rather than at random. Well, no, sometimes there's a random thought. It's like when you get that song stuck in your head. <laughs> huh. These tubes that work down there uh, as cleaning out. So, oh, we don't need these, like uh, being able to to recite all the presidents of the United States. Yeah, keep uh, Washington, Lincoln, and the fat guy. Hi. Hello. Yeah? You want to come say hi? Don't touch it, though. That's Flash. Say hi, Flash. Hello. Is he, is he pretty? I am Flash. Is he ugly? He can't hear you. Blue. blue? Blue. That's blue, too. That's right. He pointed outside to the blue bowls, and then the screen is blue. Uh, what? Uh, oh, you want to go bust some firecrackers? How you do it? Shh. I, yeah. don't, I don't like the control Stop. of education, Vincent. What do you think Stop. of that shit? I'm educating right now. Yeah, but it's – no, I mean the, the I'm control too. of, of I, what is considered and accepted as – formal education you know state sanctioned or whatever the fuck you call that shit oh, no, okay. so here okay. here's my question right if if i read a book and you read a book because you paid somebody to let you read the book your interpretation and information from the book is more valuable than mine right all all learned information all education is form all let me have that baby Thank you. Well, all right. But no. a lot of people are conned by this better than you shit because they paid there's, a, there's a, they paid a fee to do it. You. Wow. Yeah, you. you're, yeah, you're not listening, fucker. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Then answer ah, the, ah, 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 Don't touch. Uh-oh, no. he's getting attacked by the child. Get him. Get the <laughs> Vincent. See, that was the type of form all education. You guys can see there. You're pretty you gotta, good. Yeah. You got to look it up. You and you and Mary really got into the words over the last few years. Started digging in and seeing what this shit's really all about. And it's You're not. And I don't. Rec- I don't say that out of complete experience. It's more observation. I trust other people to a point, and then when I don't trust them anymore, then I I do the research after that. <laughs> but some things are just. I've been around them so long and, and spoke to so many people about them. They're obvious now. You know, well, as we go, but as we go down the road, you got to remember what 50 percent of the population is considered poor or less than 50 percent. What anybody got the stats on that on the RLM? What percentage of the population of the world is um, got money and which one don't? And I think in the overall, it probably. It's probably, 90 percent or better uh, that have the uh, majority of the wealth. Yeah. Hun- yeah. <laughs> And by living standards, uh, yeah. even though the numbers won't report it this way, they're going to be forty uh, percent poor in America. I'd say, uh, okay. but I don't think uh, and, I don't think I don't think that the uh, any any kind of polling will reflect that number. It'll probably be down somewhere around uh, below twenty percent. Yeah, but when I was younger, you know, twenty five, twenty six, I was still working and still believed the game to some point. You know, I was still stuck in the greed and shit. I wanted to get somewhere. And that year I learned a lesson about it that never interested me to play it anymore. Oh. About you. You want to be a greedy slob and become wealthy and buy a big big farm or a big home? Do you got aspirations? Yeah. I have aspirations. Uh, well, I I got a guarantee, no fail way to make yourself a fucking fortune. If you, but you need money to start with. You need to either borrow it from somebody, or get somebody to back you and do a deal or something. But buy yourself a fucking lawyer, man. Get go buddy up with some nice girl lawyer, and let her tell you what's the government's gonna force the public to buy and buy heavily in that product. 
You know, like if you knew the safety belts were going to be forced on the American public through the automotive business, can you imagine how much fucking money you could have made owning a seatbelt um, company? You know, or Do a they car. Have such a thing? Oh, it, well, well, I'm talking back in, when I was young. When I did, when I did things, and the way that I followed things to, you know, that would interest me. What What if the mob got involved in the seatbelt company business? Who probably did? Who cares? It's got nothing to do with any of that. I'm just making the point of there's no excuse in the world to be um, hungry if you speak English at least. I hope the window don't break. Oh my God, he's gonna shoot it. If you're <laughs> if you're on American soil he's right shooting now, bottle rockets. Outside okay, Gr- Grimner says 80%. So 20% ah! of, of the population oh, <laughs> oh! controls, what, 80% <laughs> of the funds. So there you go. Okay, tell me that again. I was ducking bottle rockets. Uh, said Grimner said it's no. 80% is in poverty. Now, poverty would be That's... defined as probably $2 a day. <laughs> See, you know what? I mean, they play with the ex- explanation to – to dissuade you from looking at the the real problems. Ah, uh-huh, it's a dud. Like this debt based economy <laughs> that we're forced, you know, forced to play in. If you don't play in it oh, somehow or another, bad. you you don't eat. That's bad. Because if yeah, if you so, go off the grid, they fucking lock you up now. They get you with these damn bounced off and hit right at his feet. <laughs> what, what is that? You can't. You can't. Is there like a berry fine for from the um, park rangers if you go into the forest and eat a berry? Do they want money for the fucking berry too? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you could probably uh, if you were poaching, like say mushrooms. Yeah, but you know, poaching okay. or ginseng, so, ginseng. You know that's uh, that's a real big. That's a lot of money. You know? Right, but instead of poachers here, instead of poachers, here in instead Arkansas, of poachers you know, you poaching, see, you've got l- lawyers and politicians <laughs> poaching. Yeah. You know, you don't think so. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it's the, the market that makes a poacher uh, money in the first place. If there wasn't a Just market like, for yeah. shit, people wouldn't go hunting it or stealing it or making it or whatever game they play. It, it's worthless at this point in history. We're using all the wrong materials. And we don't stop this crap and get these fucking idiots to do do a reversal and stop the prohibition on cannabis and, and hemp. That would probably, you know, that, some borax and uh, a few months, six, eight months, and you could actually start to seize things. But they'd have to stop everything they're doing, like I keep telling you. And that's not well, going to happen. So That goes that. back to the way thinking happens. Yeah, yeah. I, I was talking to a skater dude over on Twitter. Now and, I'm bummed. You know, okay, are you? Yeah. Well, I just saw the Sk- anybody dude. with the anybody <laughs> with the name Skater Dude. If I say Skater <laughs> Dude, that I just cheer you up it did. right away. I'm, I'm a smiling fool now, my friend. <laughs> See, awesome. yeah, take you back, take you back to the day when you were carefree. Yeah, carefree, carefree. You're welcome. So there, yeah. So a skater dude, we're talking. He's uh, uh, on the opposite side of the spectrum in so many ways uh, in in the Bundy thing, but uh, he's at least willing to look and communicate. And uh, so uh, I, I responded to him and said, uh, you know, how we get locked into a point of view is it's probably uh, part of our psyche. It's part of our instinct and uh, a self preservation. You know, we we've got to know that we're right in what we're doing, right? That uh, as moving forward, and if you go back and where you know more survival uh, situations would uh, would be at play, that uh, you, you know it's life or death. So I, I think it's a developed into the mind that uh, you know that makes what what makes people uh, prejudiced and uh, not only you know in in ideas but uh, yeah. uh, against other people too. So it sets off this uh, uh, parameter that uh, we draw lines, which is uh, too bad. Well, you let know, me ask we you can hope that, uh, how, how do you travel around? Do you consider, with all of this intrusion, because I remember the Greyhound <laughs> from the days when you, I, I rode the damn thing alone when I was eight years old. And now if you're eight years old, you're like, uh, somebody's mistreating you or neglecting you or some shit like that. You know, when I was a kid, they gave you 
pin twenty dollars on your fucking jacket and send you home to your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd be waiting uh, on the other I... end, you know. And they just worked it all out like intelligent people should. And now everything is so overpriced and and uh, hard to uh, acquire. Simple fucking things that you need in life, like tr- transportation, you know, to to travel somewhere. And and there's too many people. We've just been overpopulated in certain areas. See, it's not there's too many people on the planet. It's there's too many people in the cities. These cities are monstrosities that are doomed to fucking failure. They breed well, the fuck. They breed the fucking problems they have because of the way they're operated by the people that live in them. And the people that live in them are miserable fucking cunts that want jails and punishment and laws against this and laws against that. Because they're so fucking miserable in their life. You know where well, I learned that, uh, Vincent? There's, there's, where'd you learn that? <laughs> well, I met this woman on the fucking internet a couple years back. And the way we met is I thought she was exaggerating. I said, nobody's that fucking nice. And I told her so. <laughs> I told her so. And uh, she said, okay, if that's what you want to think, there you go. And we didn't talk for a bit. And then I, we ended up talking because we're both artists. <laughs> and the art brought me and Cirque together. And here we are, all these years down the road. You know, Well, not all these, but for me, it's like, wow, what the fuck? A lifetime, huh? I just went to go visit my mom and dad for 30 days. And now I'm living in Denmark. So if you change the spelling of cities to start it with the... S. Yeah. Got to you got to sit somewhere, right? And uh, the fact is we have cities and, and it's been part of uh, uh you know the development of culture of mankind for for many uh many well, thousands of years certainly. Um that that's where we are. And, and a lot of people with their ideology want to go from where we're at to somewhere else magically and and that can't happen. You uh, know. Well, I believe there's, a lot, uh, a lot there's of it. plans. There's certainly plans to eliminate a great many people in this world. I, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. And and that's what I call this coming zombie yeah. apocalypse. And, Why? And what do you expect world. to see happen, though? People eating people. Well, are you expecting the food lines to get shut down or what? Well, yeah. There's wow. coming calamity. Uh, you know, there's going to be a big breaking point. Yeah. Well, 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 there would be a minor one such as uh, World War Three, which we're really already in. But um, oh yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I agree with that Syria thing. That that was the last straw. They should have stayed the fuck out of Syria. Been there what three, uh, four years, something like that. It doesn't matter. It's all part of the plan. Right. Well, where does the support <laughs> for this fucking stupidity come from? If I don't support it and you don't think. support it, who supports it? Rome's. People- Holmes, anti moose, okay. Grimner, who, uh, who, we're, who? We're all minority. <laughs> the majority of people, obviously, uh, are diluted or tricked in uh, that ideal self-preservation. Yeah. Well, we need we need to kill the terrorists, you know, before they uh, come kill us because they hate us for our freedoms. Oh, that, yeah, okay, if you say so. I just see I see this whole thing like a film. You know, it's like a movie to me now been away from the states too long you have a film you have a film yeah but i've been away from home too long to um i don't know be i be aware of the changes that went through since i left it's been that long because the place you guys talk about didn't exist when i was there have you tried windex no i use um buffering there's no streaks or film but can you snort it I don't know if you'd why you'd want to. Why not? That's what no, people do it. with drugs. They snort them through their nostril inhalers. Wind, Windex? I don't know. Maybe they call it something else. Who knows? <laughs> Are y'all caught up on drugs? Hey, you ever sit down and shoot you up a big old bag of hair on? <laughs> Never, I mean, ever. Fucking people, man. Well, I don't know. Just... The things I've seen on movies over the years that uh, it just, where does that idea come from? To where actually, does 
Where does your thinking come from? That's I, that's I what we're know. trying. To, that's what we're trying to discover. Let's let's take you for instance. Where does your thinking come from? Where does your ideas, your perspectives, these notions that you have, uh, even to a point of faith? Hmm. Where do you um, build all this? What is what is your hope? What is your faith? What is these uh, ideas that you have of, of uh, where we are and where we're going? And that is, it's all an illusion. It is whatever an I illusion. Want, whatever I want it to be, I can go make it any fucking time I want to. All right. So imagine yourself a uh, banana cream pie right now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Put your hands in front of you with your palms up. Say, oh, banana cream pie. Right. Do it. Uh, Are you doing no. it? You're not, you're not no, doing it. No, I'm not doing it. Now, you've, I've imagined myself into a position of being hungry for banana cream pie. Oh, and I don't, okay. I no. don't have one. Do you? Oh, is that what you... No. It don't work. But see? you know what I have is a wife... Manifestation. Yeah, you, but... Faith... Yeah, works with... Uh, faith without works is dead, right? No, if so I you say... Can, you can believe... You can believe all you want to for that. I you can, can imagine say the it, magic But you works. can't get it. Well, then that took an action, didn't it? Yeah, but it's not uh, a burden of an action. It's, it's well, not then like somebody comes his, along... Every, every person, circle. yeah, but every person in the equation has their play in the equation. What one person does has got no more value than what the next person does. It's just You're making what that, a mess. Oh well, maybe so, but it's just what if you make a mess? That is your job. That's what you're supposed to do. Please do not play in the equation. You're making a mess. But I enjoy making a mess in the equation. It's, I know. It's kind of like fun. It's like, uh, you know, sparring with weights, if you will. Tell your daddy takes your T-bird away. Nah, daddy's dead. Poor guy. Nah, he couldn't take the T-bird away now because he's gone. And right. even when he could, he wouldn't because I was a grown man. And he, nah, you don't fuck with grown men like that. So, I don't know. You're I not. guess... It, it's got to be a girl thing or something because I can't imagine my dad taking my car away like some kind of child. No, that's childish. What about when you were a child? Um, what, he took it then? No, nah, he would I just my, yell or slap. I got my first car. Yeah. I got my first car at 12. Oh, my, my own first car where I could drive yeah. it whenever I wanted to? No. Uh, Did your dad ever buy you a car? Oh, yeah, when I was a kid, sure. Yeah, my dad gave me a bunch of cars. I had to, you know, I had to do shit for the money, but he paid for the damn uh, car because I couldn't. I wasn't old enough to buy it. Uh, my dad just stole me the keys. But he worked me off, you know. You go oh, do this and do that and the other, and I'll get you a car. So I did that. I mean, he was a fair guy with money and crap like that, but he was just a mean uh, man. He didn't have a lot of uh, love. Love just didn't fill his room. You know what I mean? I was probably my dad's favorite thing in the world. Well, you're very lucky then. I I appreciate to hear that because I wasn't. I was when I was little, and then something happened to him, and he changed. And as he aged, he got meaner <laughs> over the years. And then at the end, he got nice again. <laughs> I only remember two ass whippings from my dad in my life. You lucky prick. <laughs> I can't remember two not ass whippings because me and my dad clashed all the time for a long time. Until I was yeah. about, I don't know, 12, he did not get, yeah, he did not like what he raised. <laughs> but, you know, he raised me to fight everything, and then when I fought him, he'd get all pissed off about it. And in my mind, I was thinking, hey, this is what you taught me to do, so what do you want? I don't get it. <laughs> and here we are all these years later, right? And he's well, dead. Back. Wait, wait, wait. He's dead and gone. And I'm still in the memory of what he did when I was young. He's not. <clears throat> there we go to the memories and thinking. So mm -hmm. lo losing memories, you know, you remember certain things like uh, the bus. I, I remember I, it had to have been 1969, 70, maybe 71. Uh, 
when the greyhound would stop on the side of the road, you'd stand out there and hold your hand up and the bus would stop. And so me and my little brother, we got on the, the bus to, uh, from Hiawassee, Arkansas, to T Town in Tulsa, uh, and rode a bus over there, you know, me and him by ourselves. We got off and, uh, my grandpa put us on, my dad picked us up. Yeah, that's what we did when we were kids. And yeah, I go hunting. I go hunting uh, as a kid out in the woods. Abuse. And I got yeah. memories. Yeah. Memories of all that stuff as a little boy. Yeah. I remember going hunting one time and getting lost and, and crying. And I, I found my way back. I'd gone further than I'd ever gone before. Oh. As a little, little, little kid, you know, little, yeah. little. <laughs> and yeah. uh, so I get back, and my uncle, he noticed my eyes was red. And he figured out. He was pretty smart. One time he chased uh, chased me down. He was going to whip me, and I said, I don't think so. And I ducked under the barbed wire fence, and I run out through the field. <laughs> and I hunkered down in the tall hay, grow, you know, growing out there. Snickering away, ah, he'll never find me. He can't see me. Uh, Walk right up on me and snatch me up. Yep. And put a <laughs> it's like I didn't figure out how he found me. And later on, I figured out by the trails. I said, uh, I'm "Trail through the grass." <laughs> you think? Yeah. Well, I just did with freeways what you do in the country. What's that? Oh, I would travel from a city to a city and get some kind of way to make money. Just start over all the time. For I did when I was you know, young. You know, I, I like to I travel. Can, I can look at the map of the United States, and I've been all over, mm-hmm. uh, all except for one, two, uh, four states. Uh, yeah. I've been to every state before, and uh, I go uh, well. Like I went to uh, uh, Sacramento. Uh, long story there, but the, anyway, so <laughs> I, I get to Sacramento, and uh, so I go to talk to this uh, this guy about a job, and he goes, uh, "As a tree trimmer, I used to climb trees." And he says, uh, "Where do you find uh, tree service in the in the phone book?" I said, "Between truck and travel." And he said, "You're hired," <laughs> just like that. That's well, it's not like you need an IQ test; you just need to know. What to <laughs> It's like any other club. Any club you're in is accepting of you. Yeah, and people behave like there there isn't one when there is. The, the military's got it. You know, police got it. Any kind of group, nurses, doctors, the educated got it. And then there's the um, antisocial people that don't like to mix so much and join groups and all that kind of crap. Is it, you got any jog memories? We're talking about memories in the, the memory hole, the brain, and how they roll around and all these little oh, influencers inside your head yeah. that uh, bring them up. Just, have you ever just thought of something that you hadn't thought about in, since forever? Well, just suddenly come to mind. It's really just a play on words. Yeah, because whatever, whatever you ask, it can be uh, – you can answer yes to it and be honest. Because you'll, your mind will fill the, the answers in for you. And it could, you know, because it's comfortable. It's not in like enforcement where it's all rude and shoved in your face. Wait a minute. Maybe you didn't understand the question. Just Maybe a not. memory. Just pop up. Yeah. Pop up. Something you hadn't thought about in a long, long time. That was that what time. I thought of. Well, what? I'm, you're judging what? me now? You judge yes. me the fuck? Yes. Because oh, you're Hans. Cry. Part of you is Hans today. Oh, Remember that. Flash Hans? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you forgot. Yeah, but see... And I, I'm uh, Vinnie Baroque. Yeah, but I don't want to tell you what to think. I just tell you what I'm, I think. No. I don't I don't really think... I, I want I, you to think what I tell you to think. But I don't care what you think, Vinnie. You don't have to be my friend. And I don't have to care about what you think to be friends with you. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. That's exactly right. It's you know, they how say, I, it, it's how somebody I, for... Yeah, love somebody for who they are. Yeah. You've heard that, but no, it's how, no, you, no, no. how you love treat, them yeah. in spite of who, in spite of who they are. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh-huh. how you how you're treated about the imbalance. Me and you just clown it off. It's no big thing, but it's an imbalance. You know, it's called friction. Two uh, two objects are trying to occupy the same place at the same exact moment, which is me and you. Yeah. Our words. And we have a friction. And it, sometimes it's funny as fuck, and sometimes it's not. 
Well, Sometimes it's part, actually right? enlightening because you've brought many topics to me that I would have never, I would have never thought of. I had to find somebody to tell me these things. They would have never just come to my mind. Well, lightning that has sparks, so yeah, friction causes sparks. So maybe uh, words in friction can uh, can cause some uh, great power, right? I think that thought waves would work too, but there's not enough people that participate to do it most folks no. are too busy living a life and trying to survive and don't have time for frivolous experimentation <laughs> you know that's right and i'm lucky to have exceeded my uh usefulness and still be alive you know i'm not useful to the system anymore because of my age right right so I don't serve a, a purpose in society anymore. So now I got a society I don't have to bother to be a part of because I'm visiting it. Well, you've got to be a productive member, right? Well, you ha can't be a, 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 what do you call it, an a, a, a deficit to the society. You can't be a, a, a debt. It's all about money. You know, my IR, my uh, IRS card. My passport made all that clear. That because it's a, a tax court, a tax document. And they let you use it to travel to other countries, but it's really owned. It's a dual thing. I think I've mentioned that fifty or sixty fucking times. I don't know, but I like yeah. Well, I know I'm a lot of count. people. I know a lot of people that don't know that. And I know a lot of people in the town I live in that don't give a rat's fucking ass about any fucking politics. I, uh, my passport expired a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> They'd probably have me on a list. I want to try and get in. Yeah, but I'm and already out of the country. So when it expires or whatever, I, whatever, I'll deal with that. Well, we should have built a wall a long time ago, and you had never escaped it, mister. Built a wall? That wouldn't work anyway. It's just it's pie in the sky. Then, then you need a crew or the electronic uh, spy stuff to cover a 1,800-mile-long border. So how many years would it take to build this fucking wall? 10, 20? <laughs> Make America great again, well, like cheese. They, they've got to build roads into the middle of fucking nowhere to build a wall to keep people out. Wow. That's a brilliant idea when you think it through. What if we just went down, like, let's take care of MS-13 problem. Well, let's go down and occupy Honduras. And uh, yeah. we could go in there and create safe zones, all right? What yeah. about that? Would that be cheaper than a wall? That way, those people wouldn't have to flee because, uh, you know, they're going to get killed by the gangs. These people that look like monsters with tattoos all over their face and yeah. body. Are They're yeah. real. These aren't just things people make yeah, they, for the yeah. computer. No, they are very real. You know how dangerous that is down there? If I no. was down, if I was a Honduran or yeah. in El Salvador, yeah. uh, even Guatemala, yeah. I would I would want to flee, you know. But you know what caused this problem is these... Uh, uh, war on drugs with, that, that created MS-13 and these other gangs, the rival gang in Honduras and the others, uh, the cartels in Mexico. Yeah, you know, because all weed is bed, illegal. All, yeah, yeah all, well, not just weed, but all drugs. But, well, uh, whatever. Drugs in bed smoke. with the CIA and the black ops, you know, creating these problems. Um, regime change, uh, you know, the establishment of these... Uh, uh, factions and so forth. It's playing one against another, and that's that's how the game's been working for a pretty long time. Don't the and, voters and, up? Wait a minute. Do the voters not support what you were just talking about? That's what they want. <clears throat> they want this illegal, and they want problems, and they want they want that. Not Instead people voting. Just, they think they're trying to to fix the problem. You know, there's that incurable hope. Decriminalize right. the fucking wheat. Take the price tag off the fucking ant, the plant. I thought all drugs. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, plant the opium. Yeah, yeah the, the prices get, would bottom yeah. out. There would be no, uh, yeah. there would be no great fortune in in the distribution, and and it would have a uh, yeah equalization. Crash. Some 
Yeah, that uh, a heroin addict uh, then could probably maintain himself for uh, maybe let's figure twenty bucks a day, uh, and maybe even being a functioning uh, addict at that point. You know, I, I don't know. I've heard people that you know were up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars a day in their addiction. I just can't imagine. You know, I I used to have a friend that was used that used to that extent, and he was a uh, what was he? He did a drawing job he was a draftsman or something so he made a pretty good penny he was working out in um out in the valley in 98 this is like 99 1998 anyway he had a, a pretty hefty habit but he had a job that it supported him in enough money that he could uh pay the rent in the house that he was staying in and Give me a hundred dollars a week to drive him to to work, not from work, but to work once uh, five days a week. And he still had money over that to eat and you know buy shit and do whatnot. So wow, but he how do you get home? I who well, somebody that, else? He had fr- uh, the guy was connected to everybody, <laughs> so he had friends and friends, and he just was comfortable staying with us. So, you know, he paid for a room there, and then he liked the way I drove. So he goes, ah, I'll give you 100 bucks a week to drive me to work. I went, cool. <laughs> Didn't that bother me? Uh, it was like a 98 Oldsmobile something. or Yeah, I think it was an Oldsmobile. What's, one of those little round, kind of a, it's been a long time. This is 98. It was a gold-covered, colored car, four-door. It gold, had, you know, yeah, gold colored, kind of a brownish covered, gold, covered, yeah. colored, you covered in gold, dork. Co- covered. Well, you covered said random, gold. random ideas that come back to memory, and it, and I just thought of Clay and thought, wow, how he functioned fine. He was easy to get along with. Uh, whenever you saw him, he didn't never look, uh, like black in the eyes you know, he just always looked like a normal guy but he had a heavy habit you know, a daily habit maybe not heavy but en- enough to where he needed it daily how much hundred dollars two hundred five hundred never never asked money nah i i, I got I, a friend angela she went over to uh to denmark and uh when uh, she had a rich uh been a decade or two ago oh okay yeah, and she was a heroin addict. Uh, very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. The drugs are fro- flow freely, I guess, over there. Well, I can, go to, I can go to Copenhagen. I know where the places are. They sell it. Yeah, really? if you know, yeah because, well, there's just certain rules about cities that, or not rules, but guidelines to go by. If you see a certain type of business in a certain part of the city, certainly <laughs> there are drugs around somewhere. What kind of business? Prostitutes. Oh, well, yeah? Yeah, well, wherever there's real girls working on it. Did I lose you? Yeah, I went, I clicked the damn button when I was playing with my microphone's thing. <laughs> oh, it's just because it's in the it's built into the wire. It's just a comfortable headset. I should probably buy a newer one. But anyway, it's got this button in the middle of it, and I end up playing with it like some kind of retarded, you know, kid with a button. <laughs> uh, you not nice to say we taught it. Why? Are you retarded? Yeah. Well, then fuck off. What's your problem? What are you ashamed of it? You got yeah, you, 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 huh? It's like if if you're black, you can say the N word, but if you're not, yeah. you well, Let me ask you, you a question. Cut. Let me ask you a question. Who is gives a state? fuck? I mean, please. Is that a, wait a minute. Was that a question to start with, or is that? A <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Maybe I live. At, you can, I live. Maybe I, you can rephrase rephrase that and say, "May I ask you a question?" No, Try I that. just absolutely say it. Li- live in the say white. it. Nope. Say it. What? I, Hold on. Some yeah, I want some nuggets and fries. Are you kidding me? Are you eating that garbage food? You oh, yeah. bad for you. Well, oh well. You're like Chicken a. Uh, yeah, but you're like a. Um, I don't know. 
what would you call garbage. it? Yeah, something soup. something between human and non-human. I'm superhuman. Yeah, because you've got you know get that outside experience to it bold emboldens your uh, like your ability to get sick. Shit, the more time you spend, well, the better you get at it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like live now, pay later, eat now, die later. Yeah, that's you. I I got contracts to fill here. I can't abuse myself <laughs> anymore. <laughs> It goes against the priorities of the house. So, mm. oh, yeah. and I was, I was, man, I'm Farmer Brown this year. I'm telling you, I got two um, cucumber plants going out there. Thought I'd give them a try. I didn't want to go too far, you know, and have something not cucumbers. work. Right. Well, so uh, does Circle. So I grew her some, and she's got a few of them so far. So they're pretty good. You know what's great on cucumbers is uh, some Himalayan sea salt or some oh, yeah. of that. Yeah, they got that here. Yeah. We live yeah, we I, live but, in the like the rural part of a very singularly cultured place. You know, it's like there's not a lot of uh, influence here from too many other <laughs> places. Does it is it like a hillbilly? place like uh, here where you could tell people are related just by the way they look do everybody like talk the same there no one spot no, and then no, talk no, a little no. different somewhere else no but it ha what it does have is the similarity between the languages would be in this part of the country they'd speak it in one dialect and then you you travel 50 miles to um to the west and they speak a, the same language but with a twist the same as if you're from California or Texas, but the amount of space is a lot smaller, but they get the same results out of keeping the population small. Maybe it's they like, should force people like take families and force relocate them to somewhere else. Force none. That that's the whole, yeah. the whole point. Put is, them in another neighborhood. We, they, listen, we have to have homogeny. <laughs> if we're going to have world peace. Uh, we've we've absolutely where we live have world peace. There is nothing here to fight or nobody to fight. It's just a quiet little bedroom town in a foreign country. You just look out the window and see Russia out your back door. And think, yeah, they got a they got it's, a uh, it's, it's, steel plant. Yeah, here no. in, in Fredericksburg. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing. You can see how many countries from your back door. Yeah, you're like Sarah Palin. You're like the Sarah Palin of <laughs> Real Liberty Media. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now I'm I'm between England and uh, I think Germany, Poland. You're not between England. England's yeah, England's. To, I just came from England. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's not between you and well, Germany. Well, where I was before, I was in Scotland. I oh, shut up the fuck up, you monkey. What? It's like telling somebody you're gonna confuse the people of geography. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Some people have trouble with maps. I've read that. I've always been able to read a map. I've never thought of it as anything special. Or follow directions like interstate numbers. You know, go east or west or you north or south or whatever. probably not hit with a ruler often enough as a child. No. My my father didn't use rulers. He used his fisties. No, he never punched Slap. me. He didn't. He Slap. punched me... I don't really know. He hit me pretty hard, so he might have slapped me. He had hands like bricks. But he wasn't big on that so much as a belt. He loved his belt. When's the last time you got whooping? I was probably 12. Hmm. You say, us, huh? I, I, I remember the last time my dad whooped me or was going to whoop me. He actually mm, didn't. Yeah. He said, you can't whoop my ass. He said, what? I said, that's right. You can't catch me. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what it boiled down to at first, yeah. Because my father's Mexican, and, and I had a, a brother, a little brother, that was bigger than me. So Mexican men are um, arrogant about the firstborn, and I was a, a midget compared to my brother. <laughs> so it pissed my dad off. Huh. That That's the kind of shallow... Uh, upbringings that they were brought in with you know the you should have became 
Yeah, you should have came a, a miniature uh, Mexican wrestler with a mask <laughs> and all that. Too you big come back. For that. See, Dad? See? I you don't know. I thought, think, yeah. well, when I was 16, I had this uh, I had this episode where this guy kept trying to hustle me into uh, going to Hollywood Park to try to ride horses and be a jockey because <laughs> of my size. But I really wasn't interested in horses in the first place. It's like, wow, it's a lot of work. You know? That's the setup for the Uncle Jack joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, it happened. In, it happened in my life, but I didn't pursue it. It wasn't wasn't anything that was uh, interesting. Are you afraid of horses? No. Oh, I've ridden a horse maybe I don't know a half a dozen times. It's the work that goes into taking care of a horse properly that I don't want to get involved in all that. Yeah, that's way We're too much work. That. Yeah. You so, could get uh, a like a yeah. riding lawnmower and ride it instead. It's a lot no, more work. I don't. I don't burn gas. No. What do you do with it? Uh, what do I do with what? Your gas. I don't get gas. You, be, you use Vino. Well, no, Grimner. It wasn't like that. I was born uh, premature, so I got stunted at at growth, the growth area. But. I don't know. I some people might that are short like me have attitudes about it though. I've read that. I've seen it a few you, times too. Did you did you get growth hormones? No. I, fuck no. I'm just um I'm just short. It's I'm not, I'm not dwarfed. I'm just small. For, I'm a small like a like a big 12-year-old <laughs> or like a short 12-year-old. Ollie, Is Ollie's, anybody, uh, my nephew that I got scale? married I got married into this fuck. Hey, I got married into this Danish family in four years, and and they still they still like me. So we're like old friends now. So and the boy, do they look down on? Do they the look boy, down on you? He's taller than me now. Yeah. When and we started, down. I was taller. Yeah. So now, yeah. <laughs> now, and now, when his mom and his aunt, uh, when his mom and his grandma want to come by, he's he's got other things to go do. He's a teenager now. I told Cirque that would happen, and she went, no, probably. <laughs> and, yeah. and it did. He hit 13, and now he's got, he wants to have a life. Yeah. And then there's times where he'll bring his best friend over here for the weekend, you know, or oh, yeah? maybe a Saturday night. Yeah, and they'll play uh, video games. And What about girlfriends? You ain't bringing no girlfriend over? No, no. Oh, man. <laughs> What do you think this is? Get get serious. Well, you, I had girlfriends at weirdo. 13. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't travel with them to go spend the night anywhere. Well, I had What, uh, what kind of childhood did I, I you had have, weirdo? I had a 65 weirdo? Bonneville convertible and uh, yeah. the keys to uh, uh, a duplex that was a friend of my dad's. And uh, we supposed to go party, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I grim. I've had uh, partners six foot. Say, I think Steve Matthews was six foot four, and probably weighed about two sixty. And so you were gay? No, we worked together doing remodels. Oh, I thought you said your partner. Yeah, my my working partner. Um, oh. I worked with him on and off for about three years. We had a lot of well, maybe two. Two out of the three years I worked with Steve. Is anybody first, talking in chat? Anybody say anything? I don't know. They're just giggling because I was uh, copping about the being small thing. Well, it doesn't. Oh, yeah? I don't know. That, well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's all. Let's it's talk all, about that. It's all in how I don't see what the big deal is about it. It doesn't mean nothing to me. Big people like me. How tall it's are you? Five, four. <laughs> I'm almost five, just uh, short of the four. Wow. See, yeah. I, I, I don't like short people. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know this about you. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I got to go, dude. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs> you bully. Wow. I've, I've been, what do you call that? Um, your heightest? <laughs> uh, what's a heightest? I don't know somebody that judges you by the height that you carry. Oh, a uh, heightist, yes. Yeah. Wow, because you know if I did that, fuck Cirque. I'm taller than Cirque, which is 
part of the why this equation worked so yeah, well. Sure. That's why she is so cute and lovable because it's all compact. Yeah, see. And uh but being short, I don't know, I guess if you it's it's all a perspective, you know. I don't engage enough with the world to give a fuck. They want to judge shit, you know, let them judge it and I don't <coughs> oh. I don't think people Crap. openly come to me and and bring it up as like a topic, you know, or a weapon or anything. Short? No, I just am short and it's a, never been a like a weapon that anybody could use. They go, "Oh, shorty." And I went, "Yeah, what?" Yeah, and like I've said on this table many times, my little brother went, used to enjoy being taller than me because he could involve me into his little game he was playing with some kid and make me look more dangerous than I truly was. Hey, you, you ever like when you meet a really, really tall people person and say, wow, you're really tall. Do you ever say like, do you play basketball? No, it doesn't work like that. No? Yeah, no see, like I was no. wondering, if somebody like no. just met you and said, wow, you're really, really short. I bet you don't play basketball. No. Uh, I've. Did you ever play basketball? Uh, when I was a child in grade school, yeah. When, Everybody when did. You weren't, when you weren't, were all the kids taller than you then? Pretty much, yeah. I was usually the absolute smallest of the whole place. Did you ever get picked on? Not, I don't think so. Mm, uh, not, just I, by your brother? Well, no, that's the sibling rivalry bullshit. That wasn't like, uh, you know, random acts of violence. Me and him were pitted against each other to do it. Yeah, that's like me and my little brother, same type of deal. I, a couple of my friends, uh, my one friend I stopped and saw in California on my trip last year, uh, uh, his brother was laying on the floor sleeping and uh, he took a crap on his chest and had no shirt on or nothing he woke up wow. and he's laughing and he's laughing and, and Warren, no. he starts laughing and laughing and, and then he starts smelling it and he's like ugh, ugh, get it off get wow. now that's some kind of rival right there, that's, <laughs> that's taking the Uh-oh. fight a little bit further than I <laughs> No, I keep my pants on. That, in a fight. Is, that is shitty, man. <laughs> shitty. Actually, I still remember that. Think of that laugh. But the reality of the whole violence thing for me is fisty cuffs and all that tough guy shit. That happened when I was like sixteen, the the last time, and then after that, oh, it was just all if my there, life. If there was violence, it was just somebody being pushed too far in a slap or a name or something. No guns. Nobody ever shot at me or anything like that, you know, for calling them names. But I've been shot and stabbed, beat yeah, in the head. You've, yeah, because you're, you're I, mean. You have a used, bad attitude. I used to be mean. You have a horrible attitude, and I think Sock Puppet yeah. is making fun of me on the dork table. Ah! Oh! I'm Thanks. I'm a little God. taller than him. I'm probably I don't know. He's five. He, I'm probably a foot taller than that little dude. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. He's the, four foot. Uh, he's a he's a real dwarf. Who? The picture that sock puppet put up there. He goes, "There's Flash." It's the uh, carny out of Carnival. Yeah, that's the you. The guy that ran the carnival. Uh huh. And you also no, doubled I, as a clown, right? Yeah, no, he didn't do that. But uh, yo, you. Me, but no. you did though. You worked no. at carnival, didn't you? Oh, well, I, I thought you were circus for no, sure. What I I did do is uh, I worked Saint Anne and Bourbon Street on, at the Mardi Gras two years. <laughs> oh yeah, which? Yeah. Uh, but did you go past that one street? I forget the name of it. Cop asked me. I was. Uh, I think I was like uh, sixteen down you know, there. Burb, I was, I was and he asked burb. me if I was gay. I said, "What? Oh, what kind of question is that?" Yeah, once you hit the French Quarter, you know that's the uh, gear. At, yeah, at Saint yeah Saint Anne Street is the beginning of that, and it's on Bourbon Street. Yeah, and that's the corner that they gave me the straight on one side and fags on the other, and that's the 
where I was selling hot dogs. <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, oh, what a setup for a joke. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's the truth. I sold Lucky Dogs there in '83 and '84. Well, and, you fell in Lucky. <laughs> well, the guy that had leased the cart hired me to watch the cart so he could go drink. We became friends. I met him when having a hot dog, and we started talking, and came back again. And the next thing, in, I'm, he's going, we're, "Hey, I'll tell you." We're what, not. I'll... We're not talking. What? We're, we're not talking metaphorically, right? We're talking the actual hot dog. Yeah, yeah. Selling Lucky Dogs on okay. St. Anne and Bourbon Street, where the fag part of town and the really? street part of town separate. Yeah, it was just obvious. Everybody knew it. It was like nobody. There was no surprise about this. So it was fun i had a blast i was a barker man don't be a meanie get your girl a weenie <laughs> did that and, sell a lot of weenies well it would bring people over because there's a barker right there yeah, hi hannah hannah Vinny says hi hannah you barking maniac but that's my uh, niece's name too hannah it would, get, it would get people's attention that were in a rush to eat instead of they, yeah. they didn't want to spend an hour or two hours at a restaurant, just grab something and then go get some fucking liquor somewhere. So they had the munchies and they wanted to get it. I dog. never, I like to eat after I'm done drinking. It was one of the most, I don't want food to get in the way. It was one of the most fun jobs I ever had. See you later. Bye. Bye. That circle bye. say bye for me. Tell her I love her. Oh, no, her her mom and her, her sister are gone. Oh, well, tell them I said bye. I love them, too. Oh, well, now they're gone. What will I do? I'll play, them the, I'll play them the rerun of this, and they can go, okay. hey! Yeah. Alvita say! Vinny smoked some good weed. I think, you know what? We had to start. Uh, let's do this, me and you, okay? See if it mm-hmm. can go anywhere, right? Prohibition for weed has got to be ended. We have to stop the prohibition. That's it. It's Free it's it. ending. It's end in, it. But it's being uh, regulated. So yeah, legalized. Uh, that's the first well, step. That's what I mean. No, I, no, no. I want to go. I, see what I mean? Then you're gonna go all statist on me and did fuck yeah, okay stop. Make me did you cry. did you send a letter like Hal? Did you send a letter like Hal said to? No. All right, then shut up. I told Why? you that when we started. But I live in Denmark now, you butt nugget. The goods are hey, going to fucking do me to They deliver it. mail to America. No. Yeah, maybe so, but I don't live in America anymore. So what do I do about that? You know, it's like okay. if, if you yeah, cut you your... Understand it, hey, 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 hey. It's <laughs> like if you cut off one of your fingers, <laughs> that's not going to kill you, Vinny. You're going to live without that finger, and you're going to adapt it, to live with... The ones you have left. <laughs> Your sandwiches. Mm. <laughs> You're eating on the damn show like some kind of monster. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm just going to go get me some french fries and nuggets. Yeah, how far? What time is it? it? It's, uh, we got another 35 to go. No you way. What time thir- is it? Uh, I got 1924 on my clock. That That's 124 to you, sir. Where am I at? You're in Arkansas. I'm in Central Time Zone. Yeah, where Mary's at. It's only twelve twenty-four then. Well, then I was fucking wrong. Whoa, seven-hour difference. <laughs> seven hours between me I, and you. Wow. Unless I'm, in, well, and then it's nine hours. Okay, how could it actually be we're talking to each other at the same fucking moment, but we're living in two different times? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I don't man. really. Hey, nah. oh, come on. I I I, I got. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. Wait for me. Go ahead. You okay. Got it? Yeah. Right. But how how much fun could that be if there were no time zones? I wonder. See, I've never bothered to write this out. Maybe Grimner knows how to work something like this out. But if there weren't time changes for the, you know, around the globe the every hour, what what if the time was always the same for everybody everywhere? How would that affect time as we know it? I've never thought of this before, but I I believe that time is made up by s- something or some group or, and here we are with it. But how do you, what do you base believing it on? 
Well, they put fluoride in your water to protect your teeth and such. And, well, they've got a fiat currency that they do all their necessary trading with. Yeah, these people are superior in every possible way. (laughs) And the sad part is that if they told you that, honestly, up front, you wouldn't go along with it. But, well, here we are. (laughs) Uh, What do you think, Grimner? Uh, uh, uh. And Vinny, Vinny smoked some good stuff. That I would assume he did. But you never know with Vinny. Sometimes he's just, I don't know, Vinny. And uh, <coughs> let me see here. In 2015, the editorial director of Make Magazine cited Hack's definition in the New Hacker's Dictionary as an appropriate application of ingenuity, arguing that my and other make contributors' use of the term for clever shop techniques, ingeniously simple projects, and epic clues. Wow, this is the boy Grimner. Do you post some some real eggy? Uh, I got something to read. I like to read this one. Let me see here. I'm gonna open it up. Um, on my web browser. I'm stalling as I can. Uh, I couldn't remember what it was called. But I didn't want to tell you. I'm going to surprise you. Because who would ever think I would read a propaganda piece like such as this? Uh-oh. Now what? It won't open. Ah, there we go. What'd you open? I opened it. Get this gold get that gold fringe off my flag it says flags gold fringed and i'm assuming it doesn't say american in this title it says gold fringed flag and then goes on to say the flags displayed in state courts and courts of the united states have gold or yellow fringes that is your warning that you are entering into a foreign enclave. Ah, da, 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 da. Now, I believe that. That's well. What, what if they take the gold fringe off? It doesn't change the rules of the court. It doesn't oh, no. matter. It, it, Who was saying that? How? I think it recognizes it. See, that's what I mean. If you play the protocol game, then these things mean something to you. That's the whole point of it. If you're trying to participate in their club, you need to know what their rules are. But they're secret because they're a club. You're not in it. I think Hal said that it wasn't said. Uh, they uh, changed the flag for somebody because he protested about that mm. gold friend. So they just put a, put a flag in there without it. Didn't change anything. And because They still well, proceeded in the same way. That's a good point then. Well, it comes down to whoever, whoever is in charge does whatever the fuck they please then, doesn't it? Because yeah. if you look I, at what I, they I, do, I, yeah. they never do what they say they're doing. And the shit that happens is always worse than the shit that happened before. Never better no, than... No, they're doing, they're doing exactly what they're saying. They just say it in a way that doesn't make sense to... Else. To us, because we're not mm-hmm. in the club. We can't read the... Yeah, you can't read the legalese. You don't know what it means. Okay, well then, why the collective support for this bullshit fucking propaganda that we live under? Self-preservation. Self-preservation. It goes back to the mind thing. Always. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, time doesn't exist. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying, Graham, is... It, how could it? But, I mean, if it was the same time all the time everywhere, instead of these time zone things, what, how would that affect life in the first place? You know, what would change because you change a mental state? You're not physically doing anything. You're just changing numbers in your mind to uh, to read something, to gauge it. So, what's the big change? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's all uh, time is like borders, imaginary. Well, I believe that, but other people and 
don't seem to get it. <laughs> they they want the the confines, you know. They want the the restriction and the lack of freedom to do shit. They enjoy that. Sometimes a sign works as opposed to a, a fence. A sign that says "keep off the grass," but not for everybody. Well, what if you can't read the sign? Then what do you do? I don't know. Maybe if what, it was in pictures. What if you didn't see the sign? Then what do you do? Get shot. Because I'll bet there's the the one female in the world that would never be a victim of that would be the blind, left, um, club-footed lesbian from Arkansas. <laughs> do we have such a thing? What do you I, got? Would, I would venture to guess there's one somewhere, yes, Benny. Uh, oh, wait. oh, you're talking about juice. Uh, yeah, and uh, I unplugged the deal. Wow. Get it hot. Huh? Time is like borders. Oh, you got them going? All right. And Grammy's, Grammy's Rocket Punch nice. Chair Podcast blog for the 29th just popped up. Anarchy, Bears, Dapian, James, and Fake News with your host, I did. Graham Z. Uh, Grammy, yeah, yeah. yeah well, she, you're replacing her for the summertime. She doesn't want to play with me no more. She wanted to play with her grandkids instead in her farm or whatever, you know, not farm, but her gardening. And well, I'm fixing to uh, go buy me a, a ticket on uh, a ride for the gray dog. So yeah, you're going to California. Uh, well, I'm going all kinds of places. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to California through Vegas, pick up uh, my uh, my bedroll. Yeah, well, that'd be a good thing to have if you're on the road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I left. I left in Vegas. Yeah. Cool. Or maybe I might go early and go hang out for a little bit. Um, but but you'll travel without your bedroll, huh? Well, I don't. No, when I get out, have you're somewhere. I came home. I came home. Excuse yeah. Me. <clears throat> <clears throat> but how do you define home being as you've been traveling for a year and a half well right here in arkansas is my home oh so that's another four-letter word that means whatever you want it to mean we could wherever you uh, hang your hat well what if you don't hang a hat uh wherever uh, you what set else your could you wherever you set your what squat Oh, that, yeah, okay. But it's it's one of those magic words that means whatever you like it to mean. Sure. I like Okay, magic but, it, you know, you bring up a good thing, a good point about it, but still explaining that there's an admiralty court and stopping the admiralty court are two different planets. Well, I'm going to tell you the best advice is not to get into that jurisdiction. Exactly. And if you're... You're willing to challenge it. You may be playing with your life, like Bruce Doucette. Probably, like a, a lot of other people, like uh, the Bundys and some of the folks, like Eric Parker, and, uh, Stephen Stewart, and uh, uh, Loveland, and, and uh, uh, Todd Engel, and all the folks up in Oregon. You're, you know, you're, you, if you want to buck the system, yeah, go ahead. But you're taking taking a chance, right, with yeah. your life or your liberty. So Bats. I mean, you can you can play along, or or you can try to uh, find that way where you can be that irritant, you know that Hal talks about, without yeah, getting no. in, get run over. No, see, I'm in a I'm visiting. You, you can't. No. Yeah, you can't change nothing. I can't. I'm visiting in a foreign country, so I'm just talking to Americans about my opinions about where I'm from, and I have that ability to, so I use it. <laughs> but yeah, I guess. It's just interesting how uh, how society is so forced on us and and doesn't seem to uh, be any resistance to it. It, kind of, you, it took a long time to get here. How, how can you have a resistance when it's just a trickle, you know? Spoon fed a little bit at a time. I, I've been called names for many years because I've resisted this shit because I won't go along with it. It's been my uh, Achilles heel. Yeah, it's made me a very unpopular person amongst my peer groups in the American states. Good for you. Yeah, no, isn't that a shame? But you know what they call me? Flash. 
beside that, Bias. Bias. they call me an anarchist. Is that a good thing? I would assume so because I'm a non-violent, don't give a fuck about your problems kind of anarchist. Have you, have you ever broken a window or set a trash can on fire? Uh, broke a window? Yeah, broken window. On purpose? Both. Okay. And what about trash can fires? No. Uh, wouldn't really? ever do a thing like that. No, 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 no. Careful oh. about shit like that. There's, there's all kinds of fun in being. But a I, I did set a, a bedroom on fire with uh, candles. See, there and you I are. Did, ah, did, we're getting this. Wait a minute. I did blow up um, <laughs> glass, broken uh, windows, and fires. No glass oh, cutting board coming with evidence. a stove. You that did what? The, I blew up a glass cutting board with a um, stove. It sounded like a shotgun going off. It was amazing. Hmm. There was shards of glue in those little chunks that the windows break into. What is that? Yeah. Tempered glass. So that yeah. shatters and small. Right. Well, that's what I did to the cutting boards. There was glass everywhere. And it sounded really bad, too. Oh, man. Anyway, but accidents happen. So over the years, I've learned to avoid the kitchen. <laughs> So you think that makes you an anarchist or not an anarchist? I don't know. Actually, I don't give a fuck about it. That it's the truth of it. It's all a bunch of crap to me. But if you Did your mom me, ever wash your mouth out? No. With soap as a kid? Not a yep. fucking nah, not once. No. My mom, I could tell her my mom anything. She just wasn't a big fan of swearing, but outside of that did, well, mom's mom. Now she's gone did too. You, she she went this year. Yeah. Eh, yeah. I'm getting old, man. I'm losing them all. I'm down to my brother, uh, and that's a and family in America kind of got mad at me because uh, I got <laughs> I found I didn't want. First off, it was I didn't want to go back from um, Scotland. That pissed people off. Then when I went from Scotland to Denmark, that just shut the whole thing down. I kind of called it a day <laughs> did your mother speak with a scottish accent no my mom was english from london but no yeah. she lost her accent when she she moved to america at just the right time in her life where her voice pattern was going to uh mature she was just young enough it hadn't completely matured so whatever english accent she had she lost it and she kind of had her own kind of her own personal way of speaking that was English, but not English English and not American English either. It was kind of in the middle. Did she have any funny little words that she used instead of cussing, like poppycock? No, well, not like that, but uh, I'd have to dig deep into the well for that one. My grandmother did. I got oh, a Jewish. Did. Yeah, I had a Jewish grandmother, man, from England. Fuck, that was wild. So, you know, being uh, being related to the Jews isn't all as bad as it sounds either. Because they are kind of tight people, but it depends on the level of uh, belief that you want to exhibit in your physical existence. You can either... You get a... You can either... Is there a place you can get a check? What like you well, be an Indian? No, there's yeah, things like that... Yeah, like being an Indian. There's things that you do that let people know who you are. Like attend a synagogue, or you have like special handshakes, or uh, I don't know. I never, I never t participated, but I, I was always welcome to. You know, was like if you ever Hi. want, if you ever want to, no. this, and I just never did. Mwah. Yeah. Ooh, look at the activity in the R M. Hi. What? Hi. Hi. What do we got going on? Actually, What's I think. On? My buddy's firecracker that did it, but we were both setting them off. <coughs> wow. Oh, Grimner set a field on fire. He was a bad boy. Really? I've yeah, burnt that's what uh, he says. a few hundred acres. Wait. Yeah, I've burnt a, a, lot, of, a lot of land on fire. Here oh, yeah. Fr frumpy. No, actually, it's it was, you know, just I get distracted. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck to call it. 
it's uh, it's always it's a lifelong problem. You know? So this is uh, actually uh, leads into a topic that I've been studying this last week, neglected to uh, get enough together for uh, a presentation. I'm finding a lot of study to it, but the topic is uh, uh, log it, or I'm sorry, it's called graze it, log it, or watch it burn. Uh, this is uh, some of the land issues out west, so hopefully I won't be too distracted this week because it's 4th of July and I think we're going camping and um, I haven't put uh, hardly pen to paper on any of this. And uh, I'm just still doing the research stage and if you look on YouTube, there's really nothing. It's all uh, uh, slanted and one-sided. Uh, but there is, not not fully, but there is some integration, uh, this push towards uh, uh, conditioning ranchers to do certain things and it would be a good idea. Some of these uh, um, areas that are a little more sensitive could be uh, fenced off and, and portioned. So, hey, what you got over there, baby? Bunch of balls? Where's hey, the blue balls? What what state blue are and you yellow. talking about? Uh, out west. Uh, out west. You know, that narrows Cal- it down a little bit. Sure. Cal- California, you know, the the oh. Pacific Northwest, Oregon and okay. Washington. Uh, Idaho. makes it a little better. Wow. Yeah, Nevada. Even in the desert regions like Arizona, you know, in, in Nevada, there's in Utah, there's still uh, uh, range fires, and you know, it's mostly uh, just uh, you know the Ooh, same vegetation coffee. for a long, long way. So then you have invasive species like ch- cheat grass, uh, which is a big problem. It's good in when it's green for cattle, but when it turns uh, uh, brown, it's very, very flammable, and uh, and it could cut the stomach and stuff, the stomachs of the cow when they're eating. And you're going to travel. Wait, you're going to travel to or through all that shit. Yes. Where you, wow. See, you got the. You still got the drive to do it. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. We got to go see. Yeah, Take but see so that. And that's, a gander. That's the point because I grew up with all l- listening to all kinds of idiots tell stories about Texas and all this shit. Oh, and if you hitchhike through Texas, they'll do this and they'll do that. And I hitchhiked they, through Texas, and people were fucking <laughs> just like anybody else anywhere. There was no um, state-to-state real divide when I was a kid. That stuff grew out of the 80s, I think, with football mm-hmm. and sports built it. You know, that, that got more popular as time went on. And what bit of dirt you were belonged Good to job. had a, some kind of imaginary value. You know, like you're a better person if you're, if you live on this bit of dirt instead of that bit of dirt. But what kind yeah, of person you are doesn't have anything to do with anything. That's just a byproduct. <laughs> always been a big rivalry between um, Oklahoma and Texas, and uh, also oh, yeah, but always no, there there hasn't always because Those there was born. a fucking time there was no Oklahoma or fucking Texas. The you know this. Occupied that's land. Just, that's it's just occupied. by God on American. Fuck American. It's occupied fucking land, just like Palestine, Israel. Israel's just doing the same thing the Americans did. They just rewrite the history and browbeat the God public and keep us America. Stupid. There you go. You're a communist. I me am I? I don't yes. know. I, are you going to be a surrogate? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. That's what Hans was talking about. <laughs> fuck Hans. I don't give a fuck what Hans talks about. Hey, Flash Hans. Done. Yeah, well, I'll make fun of j- names. J- I'm done with that idiot. So, no, talk about something else. Anyway, where were we? What if he commits suicide? I'm sorry. Maybe don't you're that, don't know. that one little piece of, uh, that one little thread, thin, thin thread that's holding him on to, uh, to life and reality. That's a what if you're to... breaking off your relationship that, pushes him over the edge? Would you that, feel bad? No, that's just that's just himself? a sick fuck doing us all a favor. Nah, that wouldn't matter. Wow. Well, you talk about would, a protest. That'd be, be a motherfucking protest, though, wouldn't it? If somebody murdered their self because they didn't like you. <laughs> How stupid do you think that is? Come on, Vince, no. please. I, you... Oh, it mean you had a falling out because of some disagreement, and I, I would gonna, just die. I would really want to. I wouldn't want to commit suicide over it. It would be stupid. I, no, I, fuck. I could, I could kill you instead. That yeah. way, you wouldn't have to commit suicide. 
<laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, some of them will just bore you the <laughs> fuck out of me, but they've not killed me yet. I, I could do this for you. Nah, you could not. You talk a big game. <laughs> wow. When I was like uh, 19, this one guy, he's all like, oh, I want to die. I want to kill Uh-oh. myself. Yeah. I said, <clears throat> I said, let me help you. You know, this is kind of tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so, going to be a willing participant or a victim? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we got we master. got some rope and tied it to the inside of the closet there and around his neck. And I tied it just long enough. I put him on the chair there and I said, okay, so uh, reach behind you and grab your ankles in behind you there. And as soon as he did, I tipped the chair and I dropped him straight to the floor. He hit his knees and his neck was stretched out and he's like, ah, ah you're trying to kill me. I said, no, <laughs> I, I messed up. I, I tied the rope too long. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. I said, wait a minute. You thought I thought you said you just wanted to die. I was just trying to help. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. I I would take you for that kind of crazy fucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're here to help. You're so you would be like a great IRS tax collector. Would I? Fuck yeah! If you could do shit like that to people, can you imagine the lack of uh, humanity it takes to go into a person you don't even know's life? And take all their finances away because of paperwork says so. You don't. Well, know I was they're... trying to help him. I wouldn't want to do that. I was trying well, to help him realize that he didn't want to die. I was making a point about how fucked up people have to be to be IRS agents, you moron. But Pay you attention. said I would be a good one. You would. No, I wouldn't. If you could strangle somebody with a fucking rope to any level. I... You, and, I did. and get a giggle out of it, then you could probably... I just stretched his neck, dude. It didn't yeah. even strangle him. Well, there you go. You it made have... him set up straight and take notice that he did not Look, really want to die. I just obvious... wanted him to be able to see that. You obviously thought about murdering this fucker, or you wouldn't be talking about not murdering him. <laughs> I wouldn't murder him if he wanted you, to kill himself. You had to decide well, what, not to. What of if, you did. What if, okay, what if I'd have made a mistake and said... And, and figured out, oh, I didn't put enough rope in there, and he actually did. Then I would say, uh, yeah, he Oops. said that he was tired of life. I tried to talk him out of it. I stepped outside for a minute, and I came back, and there he was, uh, hanging. Yeah. Uh, makes a good story, though, doesn't it? <laughs> bad guy. Yeah. Bad and side. and then, he, then he set himself on fire. <laughs> and what was all this over, a woman or a? I don't even remember. I was what? a teenager. Yeah. Oh, not even a woman. So it'd be a girl. How sad. Maybe. Maybe. That'd be. Yeah. The, but I don't. I remember. don't know. People. There wasn't a lot of girls in town. That was in Mesquite, actually, Mesquite, Nevada, Mesquite. up there by the Bundy Ranch. Yeah, I was Bundy living. Bundy Ranch. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, I was living and working there. I was nineteen. I was living up Mesquite. Uh, ah, Mesquite. Working in a casino as a cook. Casino. Uh huh. And uh, there was uh, like a shortage of girls. There were way more guys than girls. And a lot of the girls were, were, were good girls, goody two-shoes type. You know, a lot of girls were Mormon, so, uh, you know, so are, sex was you, not right. Are you going to become a Mormon so you can get sex? No. I'll bet you if you became a Mormon, you'd probably get Mormon sex. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. I, no, I just know about groups and tribes. That's why I fucking mm-hmm. avoid them. There is, I have no um, tribe peers within, uh, I don't know how many miles of where I am. You know, we do a radio show, or maybe it was one of my feedback, the trouble with tribbles or tribals. I mean, I don't know, but I my not having trip. my not having a tribe does not work against me in society <laughs> because I, I'm kind of part of a tribe here where I'm at. Well, You're I was going to finish home. it. Well, yeah, I was assigned a tribe by the fucking government. See, the government has no idea how my upbringing was. They don't know what ideas or beliefs I have, but I have an American passport. <laughs> and people judge you by your documents, not by you're you. A bloody American. How would you say that if you're in Denmark? In Denmark, it wouldn't be bloody anything. They're 
Danish. Yeah, that's why England, I need translation. In England, from England. You're, okay, in England, you're a Yank. And here, yeah, the, the Danes call us Yanks, Yankees. It's not really demeaning, but it's not really like, hey, hey, hey. It's kind of like an insultish kind of word. Yeah, see, because yeah. like Hans is a Yankee. I, I'm a Southerner. Oh, yeah, because of the, yeah, Beantown to Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Arkansas. Wasn't that a fucking game? Why do people believe these wars are real? Because. Yeah, lot, like Arkansas. What, uh, who says Arkansas? Everybody knows it's Arkansas. No, uh, don't dump them out here. Oh, no. That's <laughs> why I read there's a law that says you can't <clears throat> mispronounce the name Arkansas. No, so they like, actually I say do. on the news here, they call them Arkansans. Is it ready? Woohoo! What time? Oh, poor internet connection. Arkansans with an N. Yeah, instead like. of Arkansas, you're sure. Arkies, come on. Let's not church it up. Trying to act all yanked the fight. Wow. Am I breaking up? What time um, is it? I don't it's time know. to go. Eight it's minutes for- to go, you big baby. All right, I'll give you three. You'll give me. I'll give you. <laughs> I tell you what to do around here, I, Mister. Uh, I'm not even sure I can get out of here. There's balls everywhere, little balls like traps, uh, booby traps. Balls trap. like traps. Yeah, we'll we'll the do trap. this again. Try this next time with us. Okay. And then the boy taken off on the, all that because of my fucking speaker cord. Should have thought about that. But that's why I uh, have Soik to do the thinking on the computer stuff. But you know what I didn't really Good. think through is I needed to ask her something for her to think. <laughs> her radar was down <laughs> at that time, you know. So, she, I she I will say my mind. Yeah. to those listening and in chat, hello, hello and goodbye, goodbye. Oh, them in chat, the crazy people of chat that make yeah, they make it fun. Do you feel like you today left? Do you feel uh, like you've been enlightened any? Did you receive any spark today for that no, enlightening? No, just talking to you about how I feel about certain shit. And that's so we just get we you know just, the way the the mind works. That I like the way anything? you look at that. No, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. Yeah. Mm. Do hammers have IQs? I don't know. I don't really care. But uh, you know, nailed whatever. it. Yeah, fuck. You know, if you, if that's what you get off on is judging this and weighing out that, go count your numbers. Have fun. I've got stuff to do. I got a whole bag full of numbers. Yeah, I do. I bet you do. Well, it says here, Vinny has one of his offspring on today. Sweet offspring. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, he was talking about the kid that you were. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. I forgot about he the is, kid. Yeah. He is one of my Sarah. Surrogates. That's exactly yeah, but, right. But and then that's his how, daddy and mama are like my little children. You know, the twenty somethings. We're, we're friends. And then, uh, yeah, part of this little tribe thing. Wait you know? a minute, twenty something. Wait, where are we at? Yeah, they're. Wait, they're so 20. you're leaving next month in July? Sometime. Is that your plan? Well, plan wise. Uh. Well, I, my plans. I know what I'm going to do after I've done them. Grimmer, right, I realize that. Well, uh, fuck from, uh, you, some song. And but I don't know. Slap you in your eyeball. Anyways. I got you know a couple of phone calls to make and go down <laughs> my ticket. Vinny, you have a one of a kind life. You're a lucky guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have a one of a kind life in my own my own way. You know, we're, there's not a lot of people on the RLM that are the same as the next guy. In some ways they are, and in the ways they are the same, it's not physical shit. It's mental. <laughs> hey, have you gone to check the the uh, the globe there at Real Liberty Media and scroll down and click on it and see where all the countries people have come and visited us here at Real Liberty Media? We've got a lot, a lot of countries that have come for a visit. The globe? Lots of folks from around the world. Yes. No, There's a globe. globe. Where? It's a globe checker. Oh, you got to look for it. It's in the Real Liberty Media. Oh, dot com. okay. It, does it look like a globe, or does it say globe? Um, it says globe in it. In uh, it did look in it. Oh, uh, Vinny's giving us a test 
fucking authority. Oh. What you think you're in charge now, boy? Do a couple what, of radio podcasts. What did I? What did I tell you when we uh, first started the show? I have no idea. I probably wasn't listening. <laughs> what did you tell me, Vinny? <laughs> Shut up. Oh yeah, that I don't pay attention to you. Shut please. up. Shutting Man, up already. Paying attention to you is like herding cats. It ain't gonna work. Hey. No problem, Sock. It was fun. I, I was going to giggle out of Vinny. Well, it's good to Stop talk it. to you about this crap, shit, crazy crap we think of. <laughs> You're well, fun. <laughs> we'll we, we try. We'll try to think more yeah. next time. Yeah, we'll next giggle. time. Well, next time, let's do a show on sex bots Here's... and the perverts that will no. use them. No. Not on the Sabbath. No. Uh, yeah. On the Sabbath. You're a You're on the Sabbath. Yeah, fuck yeah. Because I want to be a, a, I want to learn how to hack you know, internet and shit so I can reprogram the robots. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a super robot hacker <laughs> by night. Sounds like a, a dirty job, hacking porn pop. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stop them from turning it off. That would be fun. <laughs> You're crazy. I said it to. Holy shit, this thing won't stop. <laughs> nice. Ooh, here's With a my fresh super fire. hacker skills on the internet. Mm. I call them chips in England. Probably, but Grimner sent that thing about hacking. And Ooh, yeah, it's, 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 what, when you overexpose anything, it, it loses its uh, peel. Like an orange that, or banana? That well, like an orange or a banana, yeah. If you have too much of one and not enough of the other, then you're gonna want the other one. So yeah, it's excess. got a loose feel. There's a balance to life, there, Vincent. These are good, ma'am. Good, very good. But there's still a balance to life. And speaking of balance to life, I think tomorrow we've got Grimner playing blues, and we. I don't know if there's anybody. I don't think we got a Saturday night thing going on. No. Then after that, and Gary. Yeah. Then Hal and Hal Gary Anthony. is uh, yeah mm-hmm, behind the woodshed. Gary's given up the uh, broadcasting for now. Uh oh. Wow. Hi, Hannah. I think we got muted for barking. The Dan- Where's teammate? Right on. The Danish dog of barking. Oh, I know. Anyway, hey man, life is never boring. I never know what's going to happen next. You know, it's, it's right. within boundaries. I mean, it's not like I'm going to come home, you know, and find three dead bodies in a in a in a snake. I'm just, but you know, I never know what's going to happen within reason. The boundaries are pretty narrow. A barking dog, a loud truck, a motorcycle. Whoop, whoop. What about French fries? Oh yeah, with the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, you got it all excited now. Okay. Did anyway. you tell Circle that I say hi and I love her? I always tell Circle that you say hi and that you love her. She's and then amazing. she hears it on the program when we play it back. She is pretty amazing. I love her, her mind. Well, that's because she puts it on the interwebs for you all to see. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, she does her, what do you call them? What do you call those things? Websites? Cirque? Blogs. Yeah, but the writing's good. The art's good. Mm-hmm. Her very, yeah, her very least is good. And it starts there in some things she's better at than others. I got her, chicken and chips. But she, but she does photography and writes and draws. Hey, Miss Kate. Hey, Sock. Hi, Kate. Hey. Uh, can't believe these people care what we think. Anyway, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks. And, Bye-bye, dog. I'll uh, see you in a little bit in chat. I'm going to eat some fish and chips. I mean, chicken and chips. Okay.